Alrighty, let's get started with the next video. Alright guys, let's get started with the next video. So today we're going to be doing pan squared x. This is the question that we're going to be solving today. How do we go about solving this question? We're going to be using something called the chain rule. Chain rule. Now the chain rule, what is the chain rule? Well, the chain rule is when you derive a question, a value, tan. First, what you got to do is find the derivative of tan. The derivative of tan is secant squared. And then you keep the original value the same here. And then you multiply that by the derivative of of um, x to the power of a half or the square root of x. Multiply that by dy divided by dx of x to the power of a half. If you guys want me to write it out nice and plainly. Now let's do x to the power of a half on this side here. Now x to the power of a half, how do we solve this? How do we find the derivative of this? Well, we're going to supposed to use we're going to, so we're going to use something called the power rule. Uh, so you bring the power to the front of the x. So it's going to be half x to the power of minus a half. Minus a half is because you do a half minus one, which is minus a half. Now that we've done all of this, there's still a few more steps to go. We're going to want to write it out in a way that. Your teacher's gonna 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 be you know like it. You don't want to keep it like that. It looks kind of ugly. So what you want to do is one divided by two square root x. That's the value. Now, should you rationalize the denominator here? Would you rationalize the denominator? I like to rationalize the denominator, but it's not really gonna take us anywhere. I mean, we can prove it. You know, times square. No, not that mistake. Sometimes make mistakes it is what it is, baby. But let's see. Multiply by two square root x divided by two square root x. Now the top is going to stay as two square root x divided by four times x, which is also equal to square root of x divided by two x. Now let's just write it over here. Square root of x divided by 2x is also equal to x to the power of a half divided by 2x to the power of 1. Now, x to the power of a half minus x to the power of 1 is going to be x to the power of minus a half. So, what does that equal? So, what is that? where does that leave us? Where does this leave us, guys? It leaves us in the exact same position where we came from. It's going to be 2x to the power of minus a half, which is also equal to 1 divided by 2 squared root x. So basically, you just proved it, but you didn't really get any closer, which means that this is the value that we're supposed to move forward with. So the answer to this question is going to be tan squared root x is equal to secant squared square root of x divided by 2 square root x. This is the final answer. This is indeed the final answer to the question. Right here.